NWA on Fire invades the Rockland High School in Rockland, Maine, Saturday, May 14th. See all of your favorite NWA on Fire superstars. And then, the next day, Sunday, May 15th, bell time, 2 p.m., for a national TV taping at the Mexico Recreation Center in Mexico, Maine. Don't forget, fans, once again, Saturday, May 14th, Rockland, Maine, Sunday, May 15th, Mexico, Maine. See the NWA on Fire live. Welcome, fans, to another week of exciting NWA on Fire Wrestling. And let's start off with a recap of this month's action between Brian Fury and the crowning of NWA on Fire new heavyweight champion, Julian Starr. I'm You will see the BWO Tag Team Champions, the Shooting Stars, take on power and money. This is Bob Kahn, the con man from NWA on Fire. Listen, fans, if you want to get involved, you want to host a fundraiser free of charge, not a dime out of your pocket, all you have to do is go to nwaonfire.com, click on the email link, nwaonfire at aol.com. doesn't cost you a dime. You can get involved, make some money for your organization. Get involved, have some fun, make some cash. Hey, here you've been up in Fairfield, Maine. That's NWA on Fire Country, which also happens to be the home of the dynasty. Stay out of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NWA on Fire. It's a tag team extravaganza this week as we have two big tag team championship contests on the show. I'm John Hart and alongside me is my broadcast colleague Tommy Savaldi. And what a way we're kicking it off here in Elmwood Park, New Jersey at the American Legion as Darius Carter, the debonair millionaire, and the icon, the legend, Magic, Money and Power, are getting a BWO Tag Team Championship match. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a very exciting match, John. I tell you, and I've been looking forward to see some of this talent. A lot of these, lot of these guys I've never seen before. Well, the BWO talent, they are, they are young, they are hungry. They want to get noticed in the worst possible way. And what a way to do it here is with Money and Power getting a Tag Team Championship contest. Magic, the 20-year veteran of the sport, mentoring the young Darius Carter. He's rich, he's wealthy, he's young, rich, and ready for action. And tonight he's going to do that for the Tag Team Championship. Right. And you know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to when the two organizations collide. Absolutely. I want to see that, boy. And that's coming on down the road. Well, tonight... The NWA on fire. Tag team championships are on the line as the Dream Team, Justin Carino and Chris Steeler, with defending their belts against Pyro and Cash, the Hoods. Oh, yeah. Two NWA on fire superstar tag teams. I'm telling you right now, the Dream Team. Again, it's a tag team extravaganza here tonight on NWA on fire. But here we go. Here is Steve Off, Glenn Ulrich, and their manager, Bob Berry, and they are the shooting stars. And there you see the fans here in Elmwood Park love Glenn and Steve. Oh, yeah. You know, a little known fact, Glenn Ulrich is the owner of the Body Slam Wrestling Organization. I know NWA on Fire has done some business with Glenn Ulrich, but right now he has some business at hand. The Tag Team Championships on the line. This ought to be a pretty good match. And you know, Bob Arians focused. He has his nicely cut tuxedo shirt, and he's ready to go. Smartest, smartest man in the house. He's out there signing autographs. Oh, he is. You know, the people love Steve Alton and Glenn Ulrich. They are the tag team champions, but the people detest Darius Carter and Magic. You know, these two teams have had quite the rivalry over the past several months here in the Body Some Wrestling Organization. And here on NWA on Fire, they get to demonstrate who is the better tag team, who will be the BWO tag team champions after this match. And look at this, the gun show. They're showing off their, 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 their impressive physiques. And their tag team championship belts as well. Well, that's the, the matches I'm looking forward to is when their tag team champions come up against the NWA tag team champions. That is going to be a war. Only time can tell. We got to see. Only time can tell. We got to see if the shooting stars can successfully defend their tag team championship. Against well, Darius. regardless of who the who the champions are, you know what I'm saying? That's true. It could be Darius Carter and Magic coming up to NWA on fire on any given day, John. Any given day. Uh, Darius Carter trying to aggregate a fan while Bob Arian dishing some dishing some great advice to Often and Ulrich. You know, the owner of BW has improved every single match he's wrestled in since he's really started to become a full-time competitor. He's a very physical owner. Uh-huh, he sure is. He sure is, and he keeps his hands right on the business. He knows what he's doing. But Bob Arian is going to be neutralized on the floor as Darius Carter and Magic have their have their advisor, Sean Black, at ringside with them. So money and power and the shooting stars. This should be an outstanding tag team match. It's referee Joe Loref holding up the BWO World Tag Team titles. They are on the line. Look who's starting it off. It's Steve Off and Magic. You know, Here we go. You know, Steve Off has the height advantage starting off this. Comes in at 6'1". Magic's shorter, but he has the weight advantage. Wait a minute, no. Carter and Magic talking over strategy. I think Darius wants to start it off. Well, somebody's got to start it off. Let's get rocking and rolling. So it's going to be the debutaire millionaire Darius Carter and the shoot and the shooting stars Steve Off. So Steve Off, former BWO World Champion. You know, Darius Carter still looking for his first championship in BWO. You know, this guy is, more, in my opinion, probably the best technical wrestler in BWO today, despite his brash and braggadocious attitude, Tommy. Oh, boy, that did, then this should be a good match then, to John. You know, I talked to Darius before the show today. He told me that he's looking to demonstrate some more Johnny Saint in his European catches, catch can style. There they go. They're locking up. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie-up. You know, this should be both men pretty evenly, evenly matched. They're just testing each other out right now, John. Carter backing off into the corner. Oh, I thought that was going to be clean, but obviously I was wrong. 
Carter went for a right hand, and Steve Off just went off on the debonair millionaire with showing some haymaker. I was in the corner. Oh, big clothesline! All fired off with a complete clothesline. Here comes a tag to Glenn Ulrich, the owner of the BWO. Stepping over the ropes. Double teaming over here. Double back elbow. Double back elbow. Down he goes. Nice knee drop by the amateur Glenn Ulrich. You know, this man's a great shoot style wrestler. He's an amateur competitor. There's a cover. Two count. You know, Glenn Ulrich has won a lot of matches with his amateur roll ups. You know, they are impossible to break once you get them locked on, especially they with the grip. Are. Here's, there's a quick tags between the champs. Whoa! Double close Double line. Close line hung him out the dry. The silver screen superstar only gets two on that pin attempt on Darius Carter. You know, Darius has that right hand wrapped up. I was told by his uh, agents and his financial advisors and all of his people around him that he brings to the shows that he's looking to work on his strikes. Oh, yeah. You know. Off the rope, up and over. Oh, big slam. Big back slam. Bump of the cover. One, two, no, not quite. Carter's been on the receiving end of some serious double teamwork in the early going. Carter keeps getting this. He might be finished here. Oh, and there's a poke to the eyes. That'll slow you up every time, Johnny. Absolutely. There's a tag. Here comes Magic, the icon, the legend, 20-plus years in the industry. He's looking to win another title here in BWO, former United States champion. This man gets the people riled up here in Elmwood Park. They want to see Glenn and Steve. Uh -huh. Oh, big fist to the top of his head. Down he goes. Boy, that had to be like getting hit with a Volkswagen. Magic's been primarily known for his strikes. But right now, it's Glenn Ulrich held out to the rope. He just made a quick tag to Steve off. Oh, boy. i tell you what. They telegraphed that one. Oh, they were looking for a double hip toss. Oh, Magic that was a telegraph job if I ever seen it. Magic took 350 pounds and noggin knocked both men. And now Darius Carter picking up the scraps. And the debonair millionaire looking to sully his hands with a pair of rights. Bouncing off the ropes. Oh, went for a shoulder tackle and Ulrich dodged out of the way. Nice arm drag takeover. Glenn Ulrich again, a great amateur wrestler. This man can, knows how to lock on a hold and keep it locked on. I'm amazed Carter's getting to his feet right now. Right now, Magic, we're back from back on commercial break here. Oh, look at that. He hung on to that rope that time. He said, no, no, no. Now Steve Off and Glenn Ulrich. we are going right back. Looking for another double hook. They're trying to watch. And again, Magic said enough of that. I tell you, he telegraphed that. I